COVID-19 has me lonely and I am thinking of picking up video gaming but don't know how to start. Hello all. I am an older gentleman who lives alone in the Pacific Northwest. I am retired and as such, I have a lot of time on my hands. Ordinarily, I used my time to volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club and partake in some hobbies outside the home. Or else I feed the homeless. Most of the homeless are no longer hungry where I live though, so I will probably quit that. With coronavirus causing my state to go into quarantine, I am forced to spend quite a few hours alone at home. I don't want to get a dog, because they smell. A mink would remind me too much of my now deceased wife, she sort of looked like a mink. I am a widower of nine years and my children and grandchildren live across state lines and are unable to visit. Plus my grandson is mostly into dabbing and smoking chronic. To stave off the loneliness, I thought I may pick up a new hobby. I've been told by Caden, my grandson, that video games are an immersive experience these days, a far cry from when they started as, Pong, ha. I'd like to give it a whirl. I am looking for recommendations for video games that can be picked up by a novice easily. Something like checkers but easier. I do have some athletic prowess, can you say shuffleboard? As I understand it, I can play these games on a personal computer or I can purchase a video game console. Is there any benefit to purchasing the console? Thank you in advance, Glenn. Hello Glenn. Video games can be a nice way to pass time, because they give you challenges and also rewards while looking nice. For starters, since you seem to be adept with a normal laptop, I would recommend you to get some games on there. A very well-known program for getting games is called Steam which has a logo of an old steam piston. Here, you can get yourself all the games you like, from any genre you like and either free or purchasable. There's very big differences in games regarding the power that's needed to run them, and some might be a little too much for your laptop. Ask your grandson to explain to you how to figure out how to tell if your laptop can run a game from the system requirements each of them comes with. What you want to play is up to you. There's loads of categories to choose from, and you might want to explore those until you find something you like. Most games have a little trailer to show what they look like and how they work, and reviews next to them and underneath to help you choose. Although it's not available on Steam, I can personally imagine that you might like Minecraft and have possibly heard of it before. You can roam a world full of animals, plants but also some vicious monsters completely free and build whatever you like, from a little house in the prairie to a tower to the sky. Anyways, it's nice to hear that you are open for new things. Have fun. This post makes me so happy. What a great way for elders to connect with people of all ages. I, 51F, prefer Zelda games. Something I can play on my own at my pace. As a thought, you may want to see if your grandson has any games that you can play with him. Online gaming is much more fun, in my opinion, if you can play with someone else that you know. There are also voice chat features in many of those games to allow you to speak with your teammates. I didn't recognize that I have the option to play with people over the internet. I don't know why I hadn't considered it. Is it possible for me to play with him over the internet? Will I need to utilize the same console as he has? It depends on the game. You're gonna wanna look for a game with a really comprehensive tutorial. Lots of people are used to game mechanics so often games will fail to teach you these. I know Plants vs. Zombies is pretty good at clarifying some of these things. It's available on your phone and I believe it's available on Steam too. Lots of mobile games are like this, so smartphones are pretty good. If you're going for a console, you probably would want to go for Nintendo. Because Nintendo is aimed more at kids, they usually have more clarifications in general. In general, consoles are good because the controls tend to be relatively consistent between different games on the console. There are also a lot more exclusive games. Games like Mario, Zelda, and Tetris will tend to be on Nintendo systems. If your grandson has any recommendations. If you're lucky, you might even be able to play with him from afar. For example, I've been playing with my friends online with the new Animal Crossing on the Nintendo Switch. Do keep in mind that games are sold only being playable on one system so if you have an Xbox and buy a PlayStation copy of the game, you can't play the game since they don't match up. I'm planning on working in the video game industry, so feel free to pester me with more questions, and I can give you proper responses. Good luck, Thief Candy. Glenn, you're awesome. Enjoy yourself as you wade into unfamiliar waters.
Gaming is a lovely hobby, and I hope it brings you closer to your gran.